Sometimes you've got to admire their sheer audacity. I mean, talk about selling ice to Eskimos. I'm referring to those cunning folk flogging us all that bottled water. Think about it. You can get perfectly healthy stuff straight from the tap for almost nothing. Yet suckers like you and me are forking out more than $3 a litre for the bottled variety. Double the price of petrol. Apparently, we spent more than half a billion dollars on bottled water last year. The question is, just what do we think we're buying in those fancy bottles? The search for the most expensive bottled water on the planet takes us to the most wild and remote of places. As far from the madding crowd as you can get, King Island in Bass Strait. Set in the teeth of the Roaring Forties on their unceasing and uninterrupted passage around the world. Uh, people who don't know the island wouldn't know this, but this is where they make wind and rain, isn't it? Yeah, that's our production factory right there. The furthest point is um, South America, 11,000 k's away. Duncan McPhee is a rain farmer. That's step one. Oh, there you go. Uh, yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> I could be a water farmer. There you go. It's a very simple business. This bit I don't like. Oh, if you've got a head for heights. <laughs> Thanks. There you go. Ah, hold me. All right. Yeah, right. Ah, well, it's, it's the most simple operation. He collects really water really straight from the sky onto this birds. very basic you roof know, and no calls it right. cloud juice. It's all done by nature and gravity. Let's uh, see the product. Well, there's, there's the gold. Oh, hey, we'll be rich. <laughs> it's a gusher. It's lovely. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't yeah. it? Producing only 400 bottles a day, it looks like just a little bottler of a business. But this King Island rainwater is being shipped to some of the smartest restaurants and shops in Europe and America, where it sells for an astonishing $24 a bottle. It's one thing to expect people to pay $2.50 for a bottle of water, quite another to pay something like $24. Well, the places that we're $20, $25 a bottle are where you're going to spend two or $300 on a meal and $50, $100, $200 on a bottle of wine. So I think in comparison to that, it's, it's fine. I don't so have for a it's another with... economy. It's for the rich. Absolutely. Or for someone that wants to have one night of decadence. It's far more expensive than no, petrol, really but bottled water price. is not just for the well-to-do. Let me guess. Australians are guzzling the stuff spending over half a billion dollars every year. And ridiculously, most of it comes from giant factories in our major cities. So it does beg the question. Don't you think you're a bit of a mug, really? I probably am, yes. <laughs> Julie Cannon, Ashley Forwood and Sarah Roach are friends who work up a lather in their North Shore Sydney gym. They replace all that perspiration with their own favourite tipple bought straight from the fridge. I enjoy bottled water. I enjoy the convenience. I enjoy the fact that it comes out of the fridge cold. So what's your bottled water of choice? Mount Franklin. What do you know about Mount Franklin? Where is it? Tasmania. No. No? It's in Victoria. <laughs> what's your favourite water? Pump. Where does it come from? I have no idea. I, I drink water also because I, I feel it's safer than tap water, the bottled water. Why do you think it would be safer? Just with all the um, bugs that, over the years that have been in the water. I don't know, it might be just a matter of perception. But the heart of the whole argument is a public belief that somehow or other bottled water is purer and somehow safer than this water that I've just poured from the tap. Now it's true that tap water does contain a number of chemicals hydrogen peroxide, fluoride and chlorine. But then again, neither is bottled water crystal clear, as we found when we tested it in the lab. Some bottled water turned out to be simply filtered tap water. Others contained extremely high amounts of bacteria, and two leading brands we tested were found to be tainted with chemical disinfectants and aluminium. 
So if bottled water is not demonstrably purer and safer than tap water, then why do we spend so much money on it? Maybe we've just bought into the very slick, very clever advertising campaign. When bottled water first came out, I remember looking in a shop and thought, you have got to be kidding. They're trying to sell me bottled water. I can get that for nothing out of my tap. John Dee, founder of the environmental campaign group Planet Ark, believes we've fallen for one of the biggest marketing scams of all time. For Australians of all people in the world to be spending half a billion dollars buying 600 million litres of bottled water every year, it makes no sense. But the simple fact is, we've been conned by the bottled water industry and they're laughing all the way to the bank. Are we really that stupid when we have one of the world's purest water supplies on tap? Most of our reservoirs are so clean, John's more than happy to drink the water even before it's treated. That's just straight from here, and look how clean it is. It's fantastic. I've looked into this before and, uh, and uh, came to the conclusion that, in fact, we refine our water and, and purify it in Australia way beyond the requirements of even the most sensitive human gut. Oh, absolutely. I mean, if you look at the guidelines that go into purifying this water to get it down into your tap, it's world's best practice. So, Martin, can you really not give me a clue as to where we are? And the water story gets even more bemusing. Oh, here we are. Here's some peach flower tea tree. I'm That's in the wilds good. of the New South Wales bush. Well, let's have a look at the sacred river. With bottling baron Martin Chalk, owner of Balance Water. Can we try it? I know you treat no, no, the water, but let's try it. Under. And this is the source of his biggest seller, women's water. Yes, you heard it. Water especially designed for women. This is one of the, the ones we use um, in our balance for women. I mean, a beautiful, gentle little flower. So this is the plant for the water for women. Yeah, the balance This is for women. women's business, secret women's business. <laughs> I feel uneasy even being here. <laughs> By adding native flowers to the mix, Martin also manages to flog water for kids, water for travellers, and even water to calm you down. And what will this do for you? It will uh, help with um, calming you, de-stressing emotional stability, so you won't stew and ruminate over issues as, as much as... I've had, a, I've had a litre of it and it's not making me any less sceptical. Well, I was going to say, Charles, I thought the wine industry had the mortgage on bullshit, but <laughs> it looks like the water people have got us, got us covered on that one. <laughs> It's clear water is no longer just water anymore. In Australia alone, we're faced with a bewildering choice of more than a thousand brands. So we asked one of the most discerning palates in the country, wine taster Nick Ryan, if any of them are worth their often exorbitant price tag. Shall we start with the Pellegrino? Why not San Pellegrino? My notes tell me that it is brilliant, lacking in any distracting colour, with a fairly dense pearlage of reasonably <laughs> fine bubbles in abundance. And this is gathered, harvested rainwater. This seems a little finer to me. That seems a little, a little um, fuller on the palate, that water. But this seems to have yes, no. a little sort of sharpness and, and fineness through it, a real crispness. Now you put that idea into my way. head, I can tell That's you. all the power <laughs> suggestion, Charles, power <laughs> suggestion. Whether you want to go out and be paying eight bucks a bottle, ten bucks a bottle, when you could probably get a half decent bottle of wine for that sort of money, I think I know why I'd rather put my money, but and I'd you know stick to the tap. Taste and expense aside, there's another very big question mark over bottled water. Producing, shipping, and storing those millions of plastic bottles creates one giant carbon footprint. Every time we are buying bottled water, no matter what the myth or the story that's attached to it, the fact is there is a major environmental impact associated with that bottled water. And 70% of the bottles we drink each year, weighing a massive 75,000 tonnes, end up in landfill. Well, there you have clear illustration of the relative price of water and petrol, eh? Absolutely, yes. And here's something equally as silly, because for every product you make, 
you need some oil, don't you? Absolutely. But how much oil is the question? You demonstrated. Hold that up. Okay. Tell me when I decant enough oil yes. into this to be the amount of oil required to make one bottle of water. Keep going. More? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, you're joking. No, more. I would have thought it would have covered the bottom. Okay, stop that. I can't believe it. That much oil to put that much water in the same bottle. John Dee says the simple solution to such a wanton waste of energy is to take tap water back to the people. He champions the return of the old-fashioned bubbler, delivering tap water filtered and free. I'm a new man and my life has changed forever. So how much of the water bottle is going to hate this? I don't think they'd like it somehow because every time people are using these, it's less bottled water that they're buying, and we estimate that these, all the, you know, the bubblers in this Corso will stop the usage of up to 200,000 bottles of water every single year. This is fine by me. Would you like to do a taste test, Dr. Yeah. Dean? No, that's just perfect. And when given the choice, even the most hardened of bottled water addicts can be won over. This is filtered tap water, freely available in your gym. You don't need to pay for it. Try that. I actually prefer the taste of this one. It tastes different, but it's just as good. I should probably be just using the, the tap water. So are you finally all cured of this addiction to bottled water? Yes, thank you, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. <laughs> thank you, Charlie. You've changed our lives. <laughs> we'll save fortune. But it seems tap water campaigners still have a long way to go to match the marketing genius of the bottled water industry. We could go on all day, but this is actually, it doesn't say it's for us, it's enhanced water for animals. Right. Calm. Somehow, They've even got us lapping up water for the doggy bowl at $4 a bottle. Does your animal get scared in storms, distressed when you leave them, get frightened around strangers, show aggressive behaviour, etc, etc? Calm is a premium spring water with gently infused Australian flower essences. This should take the bark out of it. Oh, oh really? <laughs> oh. So I one of them's cocked its leg over it. It is a bit doggy, isn't it? At the end of the day, it's all marketing, it's all PR, it's all spin, and its aim is to extract money out of your pocket and to basically maximise profits out of your gullibility. And that's one thing Australians need to look at is stop being gullible when it comes to bottled water. You have great tap water, drink it. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our extra minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.